¿Qué pasó, mano? Um, What's up? Your plans for the summer and your uh, evaluation of the season so far and how you grow grew as a player professionally. And do you think you're going to be on the Olympic team this year? Quick question. And what was the third one? Olympic team. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll start with that. Uh, obviously, super excited of the opportunity I have with the national team now. Obviously, we got to go through a pre-Olympic tournament, so we know that's a challenge. But you know, we believe we have the team to to you know get to the Olympics and compete there. So yeah, that's both questions answered. You know, my summer focus is going to be on that. And yeah, challenging season, unique situation, obviously with you know however 33 players on the roster. Uh, but I think growth, obviously, we know we don't want to be in this situation next year. Uh, I think that helps us understand like what it takes to to win. And, you, you know, we've seen other teams with a lot of success. So, yeah, just just use that motivation, you know, to like to like work, know, know what we have to do and come back stronger. Hey, Santi, we got to talk to you before Marcus uh, Marcus O's jersey retirement. Now the aftermath of it, and you actually seeing the whole ceremony, being there the entire time. How how did it feel just being in that moment, actually seeing that jersey actually go up in the rafters, and seeing Marcus Gasol in the court for all, all the guys we back together? Yeah, I mean, obviously super cool as a you know as a Spanish person and as a player, uh, got to talk to him too, and you know I know he was super excited. Uh, yeah, just a unique moment, you know, second time in franchise history. So it was it was really truly like a blessing to be out there. And like you said, seeing the core four, uh, and I, I just had a conversation about it today, like just seeing how together they were and how successful they were. I think it just really, it's, it's good for a team to see, you know, how united those guys are. And especially, you know, Mike, he had the game the next day and I was watching it and I'm like, man, I don't know how he did it. But like, you know, you, you, the passion they had for each other and like, you know, how, how, how they cared about each other, that's something we, we gotta like take pride in and like, and like do for us. Santi, in the back. Is there any point in the season that you feel like the team really galvanized together? And then second question, are you happy with Las Palmas' season this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll start with that. Las Palmas, yeah, they've done a great job, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, same like I was like, ups and downs, but like they've they've overachieved. And I think, you know, that, that's that got to be, you know, the what they got to do next season. That, that has to be the bare minimum and, and build from that. And for us, I mean, I think, you know, towards the end, uh, we had some consistency with, consistency with lineups and like, you know, we got to a point where like, you know, maybe we had the same guys out there every night. And I think that helped, you know, uh, click and like, you know, get some some consistency going. But yeah, like, like I told them before, like, uh, you know, it's been, it's been tough, but it, it's been a lot of room for growth. And I think, you know, we'll use that for the summer as motivation. Good. All right.